We end with a trip to the ballpark. When was the last time anybody wanted to hug the umpire? Here's Steve Hartman on the road. In the world of minor league baseball, where most young fans want nothing more than to meet a real player, this kid, 10-year-old Vincent Steele, stands alone. What's up, man? Vincent idolizes umpires. It's something that we're not really used to, you know, so every fan we can get is a plus. You know, last night uh, there was a time somebody said, put the kid in. <laughs> Vincent is such a fan of umpires. Huh? Every game, he becomes one. He stands in the front row here at the Carolina Mudcat Stadium near Raleigh, <laughs> copying their calls and mimicking their moves. He gets so into character, it's hard not to play along. For example, on this day, the manager even came over to him to report a lineup change. Zero. Initially, we thought maybe it was like a little bit of a phase type of thing. These like are his parents. It's a two-year phase at this I point. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and they say it's not just on game days. It's virtually every day. At home, he stands in front of the TV and does the same routine. He sleeps next to baseballs autographed by umpires. He even visited an umpire school where he learned the proper way to call a strike, which apparently isn't to say strike. What umpires say, hoit. Why do they say hoit? That's what they all do. What is out? Out. Okay, ball is? Ball. Strike is? <laughs> I think he wanted to throw me out of this interview. Hoit, <laughs> what is the deal? He's a great oh kid which may be part of the reason he's attracted to the profession. It's leadership, rule following, um, fairness. All those qualities are kind of who he is. Obviously, Vincent would like to grow up to be an umpire someday. <gasps> but even if he doesn't, hopefully he will retain the values cherished by referees of all stripes. And hopefully he will keep his room just as clean as his imaginary home plate. Steve Hartman, On the Road near Raleigh, North Carolina.